AFC predict, AFC review, Barte Borisov. That was just quite confusing. A confusing result. A confusing night. You know, Borisov hadn't played any football since December. So no football at all in 2019. And I swear we put 10 goals past this lot last year in two games. They went to Stamford Bridge and they let Ruben Loftus cheek. The Ruben Loftus cheek of it, he got a hat trick. That was only in October. Like, I can't, I can't quite gauge what actually happened. I really am in a bit of shock, to be honest. I feel like the unbeaten run that we went on. I think a lot of us who did watch the games knew that a lot of it we got away with. You know, over 20 games unbeaten, there's 20 games unbeaten. It just seems like it was papering over a lot of cracks because it's like the cracks been exposed. And then you look at the, the game since then and we've not really had any good momentum. A game like this is, you couldn't really ask for a better draw. So you go into it and you kickstart momentum for the final, you know, 12 weeks of the season as it is now. And seeing that, and then seeing Lacazette get sent off, that was that was so out of character for him. He's he's calm, like he doesn't get flustered. And then to whip out an elbow, and then if we lose him for next week, it's like, yeah, I find that I find that a little bit difficult. I find it a bit hard to take, especially as the first in his career. Like he must have been feeling as frustrated as as the rest of us out there. But boy. You know, you start thinking, like, what what is really going on at this club? That is is that literally born out of, and the elbow, I mean, is that born out of him just being frustrated with the game, or is he just frustrated in general? Because that is so unlike him. And we're all human beings, and we know sometimes you, if you lash out and you do something like that, usually other factors have got to you. So, yeah, I think, I think it's it's gonna be. I still think we'll get through next week. It's just what's next is what concerns me. You play like that in a game that you should be winning and kick-starting momentum. You can't even do that. So, you know, whoever we get next, it could be another pig's ear of a game. Like, a bit like the Moscow one last year where we, we nearly made a mess of that as well. Like, you're falling up from the first leg and we nearly threw that away as well. And that's what I'm saying about the, the Wenger hangover. He's still got a lot of... Venga, the Uno Emery still got a lot of the Wenger players there. The Wenger mentality. There's there's not enough desire to want to be first to the ball and really try and really grab the the game by the scruff of the neck. Really fight for things, you know. And it just seems like there's still that little bit of ease with a lot of the players. I'm not going to go into names and stuff like that. There's no need for it. I think as well, like Emery, he's a bit culpable here as well. I mean. You say what you want about Mesut Ozil, and I'm not his biggest fan in the world, don't get me wrong. The one thing you would say about him, if you're being, even if you're being facetious, is he's a flat-track bully. He would, he would take the mickey out of these teams. Like, literally, he would take the absolute piss out of a team like that. So why he's not playing is one thing. But then, Denis Suarez, what do you bring him in for? So this isn't about... Ozil, this is about a creative midfielder. You've brought him in. He's only got like 12 weeks to play football for us. So why not just play him? He's not injured. He's, he's ready to go. You know what he's capable of. He's 25. You know, he's not, he's not a kid. He's not, you're not taking a, a, a risk. If anything, it's a calculated risk because you've played with him. He played under you before, Emre. Something just tells me that I don't know if he's going to be around that long, Unai Emre. I, I don't know if they kind of brought in a manager that, listen, he's just lost a job at a big club. You know, you might not hurt him too much to lose another job again kind of thing. While they may be preparing someone else. Just something just doesn't feel right at Arsenal at the moment. So I'm really hoping that as we haven't got we didn't have a game this weekend, I'm hoping that Thursday we do go into that game and say, right, we need to kick start our season, get good momentum going and we go out and we, we have to fresh him. To only have a Bamiyang available up front, though, is a bit of a concern because the ball might uh, it might not stick. That ball might not stick. 
Uh, so, yeah, I think confusion is the word. So I'm going to sign out now anyway, because I know all our schooners are feeling the same. We, we really need to kick on on Thursday. Um, and let's not, let's not have a season where we just peter out, man. That's, that's just what we don't want. Anyway, signing off, man. Hopefully this Thursday, Emre just calls the shots and gets it right. Feels like it's a long time since he really did.